Hey y'all, how's it going? Uh, I don't know if you saw my morning missives or not, but uh, my motorcycle is ready. The new used motor I found on eBay is running right now and it's ready to be picked up. So in the morning, tomorrow, I'll be wearing this because I have to um, and I'll be back on two wheels I'm so excited um, if you haven't seen it it's a uh, 2003 Kawasaki mean streak with a 1500 cc motor uh, it's okay I um, two bikes ago I had a Kawasaki and it was really awesome. Um, that one was a concourse, a thousand cc's of just get up and go. Um, it had more horsepower and way more torque than this does. It was a tall uh, sport touring bike seven and a half gallon gas tank which I miss uh, when everyone else was gassing up at a hundred miles I'd say no I'll wait till next time and uh, yeah I could go forever it was comfortable it was fast uh, awesome bike um, I thought about getting one like that uh, this go around when we were looking, um, except we we live on really narrow, twisty roads, which <laughs> the concourse loves twisty roads, mountain roads. But uh, um, these are narrow, one lane in places with people flying in the other direction and. Oftentimes you have to pull off to the side very quickly. And, uh, excuse me. <clears throat> Especially with the concourse, the seven and a half gallons of gas is up top. So all that weight, it was very top heavy. And uh, me trying to, and, and it's like a 31 inch, uh, um, seat height 30, 31, I, I believe. So it's tall and top heavy. And with me, with my knees, my age, uh, these roads, the craziness of other drivers, I worried about uh, uh, keeping it upright on a hill this steep. Um, That's why I found the, the went with the shorter uh, seat height uh, um, mean streak. My last bike was a Honda VTX 1800, which wasn't as fast as the Concourse, but for a cruiser, it was fast. It was comfortable. Um, I traveled quite a bit on it. Um, Pretty awesome bike. Uh, I turned it into a, a kind of a touring cruiser and it was great. Um, reliable. The uh, the Connie um, was... I've, I've done the Iron Butt on that. If you haven't heard of the Iron Butt, uh, they have different rides. I did the uh, 1,000 miles in 24 hours on it. Uh, they have a coast-to-coast -coast in like 48 hours, or maybe it's 100 hours. It's 2,000 miles in 48 hours, or the coast-to-coast -coast is is uh, 72 hours or something. Um, they even have one from uh, Key West to Alaska uh, for the hardcore riders. I'm not there yet. Um... But yeah, the Connie, I've traveled all over the country. 
camped off of it and it was awesome. I camped off the VTX and that was fun. Haven't camped off the uh, Mean Streak yet. Uh, maybe I'll eventually talk uh, someone into it. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. You know who you are. <clears throat> but yeah, I love camping on the bike. Love traveling across the country on the bike. I thought by now, uh, with bikes being so cheap on gas, yeah. Uh, I'd have uh, been to Vegas and a time or two in Northern California. Still haven't done the PCH on, on two wheels, but we'll get there. Uh, yeah, so tomorrow. Two wheels. The bike is back. Um, I'm excited. Kind of wish I had my Concourse or my VTX, but I'm still excited. Because two wheels. Ride. Freedom! Especially during the worst of the apocalypse. Man, I could have... Nobody was on the road. <sighs> anyway. That's it for today. Have a great day. A great apocalypse. And we'll see you next time. Bye!